In the 20 years since the disaster, the government of India has suppressed research into the gas's effect on human cells, genes, and embryos. And there's been little interest in the West to study what happened in Bhopal. The poison past hangs over the place. Union Carbide never cleaned up the site. It left hundreds of tons of pesticides and processed chemicals here. Kaswani finds them seeping into the soil and into the lives of nearby residents. <laughs> Near the rusting plant, Greenpeace found mercury in well water up to six million times expected levels. It also found the breast milk of nursing mothers polluted with poisons and dangerous levels of trichloroethene, a chemical shown to impair fetal development. Dr. Rosalie Bertel worries that there may be other Bhopals waiting to happen. Countries need to have laws that multinational corporations will follow and that they have to follow or they'll be put out. So uh, they, like, they never had uh, an, an evacuation plan at that plant. They never uh, had practices for what to do in an emergency. Uh, they have no laws that demand that of a hazardous industry moving in. Union Carbide did not follow uh, the laws it would have to follow for the same plant in the United States. Those are really important things to go for because otherwise it will happen again. <laughs> 